Hi everyone, it's Andrew here from Enhanced Dimensions. Thanks for uh, coming along and watching this video today. Um, what we're going to look at now is the first part of a two-part look at some adapters for the um, Sony NX3D1 or the TD10 uh, stereoscopic camcorders. Um, the adapters are made by Cyclopital 3D um, and are available online. Uh, there's two different types we're going to look at, but today, for the first part, we're going to look at the base extender. Now, the base extender I'm holding here can actually be used to effectively extend the interaxial setting of the camera. Now, the limitation of any of the um, fixed dual lens cameras, uh, such as uh, the Sony that we're talking about, um, is that the distance between the lenses is always at a set, uh, a set interaxial, which in this case is 31 millimeters. By using this adapter, you effectively extend the interaxial distance from 31 millimeters to around about 140 millimeters. Now, part two of this video will actually uh, take you out into Edinburgh's Botanic Gardens and I'll show you the effect of the adapter by doing the same shot with the adapter and without the adapter, or at least as close as I can get. One of the basic issues, certainly with the base extender adapter, is that once you actually have it fitted to the camcorder, you actually have to zoom in to crop the image or you get black bars at the left and right side. And it's not kind of black bars uh, like you would have if you were playing a 4x3 movie on 69. What I mean is you get a black bar down the left hand edge of one view and the right hand edge of the other. So you have to effectively zoom in to use the image. But you'll actually see more of that when we um, go out into the botanics and you can actually have a look. What we'll do at the moment is, in order for me to get some close-ups of this, um, I will probably jump into 2D now uh, and just let you have a good look at it and I'll talk you through basically how it attaches to the camera and how it then attaches uh, to a tripod. Okay, before we actually switch into 2D, let's have a little 3D look at the adapter. So what, how does the adapter work? Well, as you can see, there's two kind of boxes almost that the camera actually will look through. The first one, or each of them are the same, in that you can see on the inside of the adapter, there's a mirror. So each lens will take a shot off of one of the mirrors, thus giving you um, a wider interaxial. Let's have a little look around from the other side. As you can see, it's quite a biggish box. You'll probably see that once we get to the point of, uh, of actually showing you the camera next to this. So it's quite a difference when you actually adjust, or sorry, when you're carrying the uh, camera around with the adapter attached. As you can see, effectively, that will screw in under the camera and the camera will then look through the lenses there. Okay, you can see basically in terms of construction it's a pretty solid um, feeling beast. Uh, it's not too heavy but it does feel pretty strong and pretty well made. Um, one of my concerns was about the glass at the front, um, certainly keeping that clean as well as your mirrors, but the mirrors are pretty much sealed in there, so you shouldn't really have too much problem with that. Okay, now let's really switch into 2D, and we'll have a look at how you attach this uh, adapter to the camera. Okay, so how does this attach? Well, we're using a different camera now, so let's hope that uh, the sound doesn't change too much. But here we go. Uh, we've got the Cyclopital 3D adapter. Now as you can see underneath here we have uh, a thread that will go into the existing uh, camera's uh, socket 
whatever you call it, and you have a thread here that will therefore attach to your quick release plate or your tripod. So in here, let me just explain this. This is the standard um, front unit that comes on the camera. So I've just taken that off. There's a lock that you can undo to take it off. So I've taken that off. Let's move that aside just for the moment. And now you can see that what we do is the camera now slots into place on the adapter trying to do this carefully not to touch the glass but it clips into place there and then underneath we just tighten up this thread and that will hold the camera up I don't think I've got it quite straight excuse me while I go back and fix that there we go just tighten that up and that will hold the camera in place then the next thing to do would be to attach your quick release plate there and voila you now have an all-in-one unit as you can see it's quite hefty um, in comparison to the camera it probably you know easily doubles the size um, but I think probably what you'll be most interested in is not this but in actually seeing the um, the results that we can get once we take it out into the um, the real world and we can show you some comparison shots so anyway that's part one of the Cyclopital 3D um, base extender adapter for the Sony NX3D1 and uh, Sony TD10 stereoscopic cameras um, do check out part two where you'll see it in action Thank <laughs> you.